Hello everyone, I'm Alex of Venom Machine Support, and in this video I'm going to show you how to tune and configure a Mars 7512i coin changer to accept tokens. So let's get started. The Mars 7512i coin changer has the ability to be configured and tuned to accept tokens of different shapes and sizes. Now all that tuning and configuring is done at the actual coin changer and it's a very simple process that I will walk you through. Now this may be relevant to you if you have a vending machine that is vending out a specialty item and you do not want to use cash for this. For example, a book vending machine or a vending machine in the workplace that is vending out safety items such as eye protection. Instead of having cash acceptance to the machine, you can resort to a token that could be handed out to individuals to be used in the machine to get that specialty item. So that's where we're going to be tuning the coin changer for, for that specific token. Now behind me, I'm going to use my trusty Automatic Products 122 test machine to show you, but it will not matter what type of vending machine you have, as long as you have power to the coin changer and you actually have the tokens that you want to tune to the coin changer. Now right before we jump in, I appreciate if you could like and subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified next time I upload a video. So let me show you how to get this coin changer tuned. So here we are looking at the coin changer itself. We're going to be dealing with the front part here of the screen. Now I have nothing in the coin tubes here. It doesn't matter when you tune if you have change in the coin tubes or not, but that is why we're getting this alert message and it says low ABC. Basically my tubes are too low. Uh, basically it's empty. So what we're going to do, most of our program is going to be done right here. Now what I'm using to tune this coin changer with actually is this token here. Now this is a specific token that's being used a lot in a book vending machine, for example. So this is just a simple token and I'm going to tune the coin changer for this token and I'm going to give this token a vend credit. Now we have two things and we can tune the tokens for. We can do a token value or a vend credit. What a vend credit is, is this token is a vend. Regardless of what the price of the item is in the machine, this token will allow you to purchase it if we set it up for a vend credit. If we wanted to assign a value to the token, let's say of 25 cents, a dime, or a nickel, we can also do that, and that is going to be a value token. So we're setting up right here going to be for a vend credit where this token can, vend anything, can purchase anything inside the machine regardless of the price. Now I have at least 32 of these. Now you're going to need to have 32 different tokens here, and I have them in my handful here. So you're going to want to make sure you have the, all of the tokens that you're going to be using, um, a minimum of 32, because each time we tune a certain token window, we're going to need to put 32 tokens in there. You don't want to use the same token over and over and over again. You want to use a good wide range of tokens when it comes to that tuning. So make sure that we got you have those tokens on hand to be able to do that. So to get into token programming, we're going to simply press the button that says menu. Then here is going to give me options along the sides here. So A gives us for par level setup, D we've got for cassette, E is going to be for setup, and down here this button here says it's going to be back. So we're actually going to get into the setup. So I'm going to go ahead and press E. Then here it's going to ask me for the code. Now the code on the 7512i is as simple. It's going to be A, B, C, A, B, C. And then now I'm actually in the options here. So this is our menu system here and it gives us a way to navigate it. So we have the D button that's going to allow us to ascend the menu. So I'm going to keep pressing this. Here we've got change management. Here we've got vendor options, coin config, audit config, and general. So I'm going to go back down to coin config. That's where we're going to configure up is our coin systems. So I'm going to go ahead and hit coin config. I'm going to hit select to hit the yellow button here. And here it says token teach. And this is where I want to be. I want to be in token teach in order to program the tokens. So I'm going to go press the, I want to enter token teach. I'm going to hit select. So I enter that here. And here it says select location. Now we've got a T27. That is token 27. So we've actually got four windows available to us to tune for tokens. I, by default, always like to tune two of those token windows for the exact same token because it's given me double the tuning capabilities for that particular token, basically doubling my chances that it's going to accept that token. 
So here we can see we got T28. If I press the D key for the up arrow, it's going to turn me to T27. There's T29, and then there's our T30. So I'm going to go back down to T27. That's going to be my first token window. Yes, I want to tune that. So I'm going to hit OK. Then here it's going to ask me what I want to do. Do I want to do a value token? This again, this is where we would assign the value to the token. To do that, we'd press OK or I can press the up arrow and go to vend token. That's what I want. I want to set this up for a vend token. Again, that means when the token is going to be dropped into the machine, it can purchase anything out of the machine. So yes, I want to do vend token, so I said OK. Now here it's going to ask me if I want to change the name of the token. Uh, basically for the T27 window, we can apply a name. We can apply it, you know, library token one if you wanted to. But since I'm just going to leave it at T27, and if you wait a few seconds, it will go back to OK, just allow you to go ahead and enter. We're going to keep the T27 name and hit OK. And then here it's telling me I need to drop in 32 tokens. Now this is where having those, all those different tokens is going to be important. So here we're just going to take the tokens, we're going to drop them into the top of the coin changer right here up to 32 times. So I'm going to drop one token in, just kick it out, I'm going to drop the next one in. If you notice, every time I drop a token in here, it changes. 30 drops needed, poor performance. So as I keep dropping in more tokens, the performance is going to improve. So I'm going to go ahead and start dropping in these 32 tokens here. Sending down, we're at 19. So here it says teach completed, and then here I can finish it. So I'm gonna hit press finish. And it's gonna bring us back out and jump us to the next token window. Now, as I said before, I like to tune two token windows for the exact same token. So instead of 32 drops, I'm actually gonna be teaching the same token, coin changer for the same token set of 64. So I repeat the same process here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press OK. And I'm going to say, nope, I don't want a value token. I want a VIN token. So I'm going to hit OK. And then here I'm going to wait for this to go say OK because I'm not going to rename it. I'm going to keep it at T28. I'm going to hit OK. And here again, it's going to ask me for another 32 drops. So I'm going to go ahead and start dropping in 32 tokens. One more to go. And we are teach completed. And at this point, I go ahead and I can press the finish button. Then here we've got select to do T29. So at this point, I'm comfortable with at least tuning two windows. You could go ahead and tune the other two windows for a different style token or the same token. You're, again, you're just increasing your odds for token acceptance. But once we're completely done from tuning here, is I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. And here I'm back at token teach. And if I hit back again, it's going to start backing me out of the entire menu system until I come all the way back out to the beginning scene where it says, OK, uh, checking tubes, right? It's looking at the tubes right now. Are we getting a little smiley face? No alert. ABC low means my coin tubes are low here. Give me sort of a, a not so uh, unenthused un face on the screen. But here's another thing. Now, if you just want to accept tokens, you do not want to accept cash, you're going to want to disable the uh, be able to nickels, dimes, and quarters. You want to be able to disable those. So to do that, we're going to go back into the system. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Menu. And I'm going to go into Setup. So I press E for Setup. It's going to ask me for my code, which is A, B, C. And then here I've got my PAR options. So I'm going to hit the up arrow until I get to Coin Config. Vendor Options, Coin Config. Press Select. And then here we're back in the Token Teach. Now I'm going to look for where we can disable or enable different um, Mon uh, coins, in other words, nickels, dimes, and quarters. This is only if you do not want to accept any sort of cash, you only want to accept that token, you're going to want to turn off the cash options for nickels, dimes, and quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and press the up arrow. 
security coin setup. So this is where I'm gonna enter here. So I'm gonna press select. And then here we got coin one, which is US five cents. So I'm gonna say, okay, select that. And I'm gonna go up until coin acceptance enabled. I'm going to edit this and I'm going to change that to disabled, hit okay. So now that has been disabled. So I have just turned off the US nickel. So now I'm gonna go back. So I'm at US nickel, so if I press the up arrow, here we got US 10 cents. I wanna disable that one as well. So I'm gonna press select, and I'm gonna press the up arrow until I get to coin acceptance equals enabled. I'm going to change that, so I press edit. I then move the up arrow to change it to disabled, and I hit okay to save that. Great, go back, and now here, we're at coin two, US 10 cents, which we have just disabled. I'm gonna press the up arrow again, and we go to US 25 cents. I wanna disable this, so I hit select. I'm gonna press the up arrow here until I get to coin acceptance equal to enabled. I press edit, I then press the up arrow again to show disabled. I save that, and I'm gonna go back. Here, US 25 cents disabled. I'm gonna go up and look at some of our other coins. We don't wanna accept a dollar coin, so we're gonna disable that. I hit select. And I press the up arrow until I get to the enabled portion, which we have coin acceptance equal to enabled. Hit edit. At this point, I'm going to press the up arrow for disabled. Now I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit back. And now I've just disabled the US dollar coin. And then here, if I wanted to accept Canadian five cents, which should be disabled, so we're just going to check it. Usually those are hard disabled here in the States. Press the up arrow here and it is already disabled, so I don't wanna bother with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit back. Now that's how you're gonna disable any other cash coming to system. So now this coin changer will only accept tokens that I have just tuned it. It will reject a nickel, dime, and a quarter, US nickels, dimes, quarters, as well as Canadian US uh, nickels and dimes. Canadian nickels and dimes, excuse me. So here I'm just gonna hit back again, back, and then here it's gonna reboot itself. Say okay, now it's gonna check its coin tubes and eventually it's gonna give us the unenthused face because it's gonna notice that we don't have any change in here. But actually, because I disabled nickels, dimes, and quarters, it doesn't need to check the coin tubes anymore. It's gonna be accepting tokens. That's why we got a constant okay on the sign there. Well, I hope you found this information useful about how to tune a Mars 7512i coin changer to accept tokens. Now, if you haven't already, I appreciate if you could like and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified next time I upload a video. Also, be sure to check the description below for any affiliate links I may have that will help support the channel at no extra cost to you. Until then, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.